Hi, I'm Damien T, and in this video, we're going to look at a way to make your robot drive forward a set distance. Let's say we have our robot starting here at home, and we need our robot to travel accurately and make it to the shops. The nice thing about the robotics is that with the NXTG software, we can tell these wheels of the robot exactly how many rotations we'd like them to turn around. If we have a look at the distance from home to the shops, and let's make an estimate. I think it's going to be roughly around about three rotations. So let's write a program that'll make the wheels of the robot turn around three complete rotations. To make the robot's wheels drive forward the three rotations we think it will take to reach the shops, we're going to use a move block. Place the move block down on the grid space where it says start. Once the move block has been placed, a configuration panel opens up at the bottom of your screen. This configuration panel will be used to fine tune this move block to make it work exactly how we expect it to. My robot has its wheels connected to B and C, so we don't need to change anything with the port. I would like my robot to drive in a forward direction as opposed to backwards or stopped. And I would like my robot to drive in a straight line as opposed to curving to the left or curving to the right. With this power level, I'm just going to drop the power level down a little bit, 50%, not too fast, not too slow. And I would like the wheels to turn around three rotations. Let's download this to the robot and see how it goes. Okay, so we have that program now in our robot, making the wheels drive forward at three rotations. Let's test it out and see how it goes. Pulls up a little bit short. Why don't we try four rotations? All right, let's try that same program now with four rotations of the wheels. This time we've gone a little bit too far. The nice thing about robotics is we're not limited to just having three or four rotations. We can actually choose any fraction in between. Let's try three and a half rotations. This run will now be three and a half rotations. We're getting closer, but still not quite there. Keep adjusting your numbers until you get your robot to finish exactly on the line. So for this particular challenge, we see that 3.3 rotations is perfect for what we're trying to achieve. 